Charla, kick us off. Give us a little welcomecito. Thank you. Um, I don't have anything official. I just am so happy to see y'all. And when all of this crazy stuff started happening, I was like, we need to do this, but also why did it take this? Maybe because now we're all on Zoom all the time for us to finally like get together. So I'm really excited to see everybody. Tell me, give me a thumbs up if you remember singing this in chapel way back in the day. Way back in the day. I feel your arms around me as the power of your healing begins. So Psalm 63, verse 1, God, you are my God. I eagerly seek you. I thirst for you. My body faints for you in a land that is dry, desolate, and without water. Verse 2, I have seen you in the sanctuary and beheld your power and your glory. Verse 3, your unfailing love is better than life itself. How I praise you. Verse 4, so I will bless you as long as I live. I will lift up my hands in your name. Verse five, I will be fully satisfied as with the richest of foods. With singing lips, my mouth will praise you. Verse seven, because you are my help, I sing in the shadow of your wings. Verse eight, I cling to you, your right hand upholds me. Now we're gonna go crazy for a second. Everybody unmute. We're just gonna sing that last chorus on unmute so you can hear what it sounds like with everybody's voices and all the lag time and everything. <laughs> Here we go. One, two, three, and Lori, thanks. Yeah, it's beautiful. You know, I, I just have to say that, you know, with the whole virtual learning that, that we've moved to, um, you know, just the community of SCS has really stepped up. The missionary community, Santiago, the community has really stepped up. And, um, you know, through all the anxiety, through all of the, the uncertainty, through all of the the heartache that, you know, we've had some loss within the SCS community and just really has been, uh, the, the SCS community has been very supportive, you know, and I've seen it time and time again, even in the past during times of hardship. And that's one of the things to me that has been most encouraging. Who's that? Who's that? My Lenny. My Lenny. Yes, please. Yes, please. I was telling my husband, he's like, your eyes are twinkling right now. He's like, you look, your face transformed. I mean, you saw, you know, you know, you're, you're the people that basically made part of half of your life. And I'm telling, I'm telling, I was telling him, the thing is that I didn't have teachers. I had mentors. I had friends. No, I, I agree with yeah. I, I, I am seeing everybody there. Uh, a lot of you are teachers you know, who come to this meeting. And uh, I, I just want to be, I just saw God move uh, and a lot through, through all your teachers all you I'm just very thankful to God that, that God gave you uh, such wonderful teachers you know that that really you know, poured on us a lot it's uh it's great you know because 
uh, and we're, 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 it just helped us, help us a lot to, to see God in many different ways and at school I mean, we saw God work in many different ways when we were there and uh, uh, I'm just th thankful for that and thankful for, for all of you who, who spend the time to not only teach you know math or science or, or whatever physical art but uh, to really you know spend time with us you know and, and that I'm I just wanted to share that mm -hmm. God Thank was you. there and in our worship times um, whether it was at school or at church at English church for those of you who remember that English church um, you could feel the presence of God and SES wasn't just a building just like church is not just a building it was made up of people it was the students and the staff and that's why, why I came back year after year. And that's why SES will always have a huge memory for me. What's kind of cool is sometimes I'll be like, oh yeah, I remember I had this friend and this happened. And people are like, oh my goodness. And like how it was so normal for us to have these really wild, difficult, spiritual and emotional um, situations that went on. And yeah, we were a little rattled, but we were grown by that and, and how um, being such a community, we all saw so much power of God in so many different ways, and it was just a crash course on faith. For me, um, I want to thank all of my teachers, because the best way to know God is through the love that He puts in people's hearts to give to us, even though we can be very difficult. I want to thank you all because I know I was very, very difficult student. So you all gave me your love, your patience in spite of my tough character. So I think that's the best way um, that you can get to know God is through people's love, unconditional love. A lot of Bible studies started um, that particular year with teachers and students and um, Marini you're right you were uh, you were a little bit challenging and I remember one day I was um, complaining to Lori about oh her attitude and I can't believe the things that she'll say back to me in class or whatever and Lori was like it sounds like God's really putting her on your heart maybe you should uh, ask her to be in a Bible study I was like that's <laughs> how'd you get that from what I just said but it was, uh, it was a really good uh, input, and I did pray about it, and then Marty and, me, and I did a Bible study. First of all, I'm so happy, like, of just seeing you through, through the phone. <laughs> Yelixa was the one that, that said that you were having a, a Zoom, and I'm just really happy to see all of you. Like, I have a lot of emotions right now, like 19 years without seeing you all. Well, there's so many people arguing about like secondary stuff and like using Bible verses to fight at each other. But then in SCS, it was never about this. So like we were kind of shielded from that and we were just raised like in Christ's love. And like, I realized that people like the teachers and like everyone, they were just forming character in us. And this is what stays. Now, if I look back now, my years in the Dominican at SCS were the ones that shaped me significantly. Um, with spiritual growth and personal growth and just overall challenges. I wanted to say um, thank you to those of you you shaped me in the years that I was there, both students and colleagues alike. Lots of growth. I
even as we gather here, you might remember other people who are not with us. Um, other names or faces might come to your mind. Lift them up in prayer as well. God, I want to pl- pray that the love that we've received from one another, the kind of patience and endurance and hope that we've received from one another, I pray, God, that we would share that wherever we go, that your love, that your hope, your patience would come through us to the people around us. Thank you for the investment that so many made in my own three kids' lives, Lord. And I pray that you would continue the good work that you began at SCS many years ago, and that today and in the future, it would continue to be a beacon of light and a place where people would hear of your um, precious name and your gospel and be shown the light of and love of community, and that would transform their lives and the lives of many generations to come. I thank you for these faithful ones who were faithful to the call in their moment to contribute to SES. And I pray for the faithful ones that are there now and the ones that will come in the future. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Father, I present to you those who don't have a job right now. Those who are battling with their lives, Jesus in the hospital. I present to you those people, Lord. You know the situation in our country right now. Many people without jobs. Just wondering how they're going to get through another day. You will be there to provide. You, know, you will be there. Their provision. You will give them what they need, Lord. Dear God, I thank you so much for bringing this SES family into my life, God. All of them have made me the person I am today, God. In all the situations, whether good or bad, God, you were the one that got us through it all, God, and this community of people. We ask blessings over everyone that's on on this video, God. Be with them. Bless them. They all have different things going on, and it's a very scary time right now. But God, thank you so much for putting this on Charlotte's heart to bring us all together, God. We bring before you... Uh, the current staff, and also the leaders of SES, God. Be with them, bless them. We ask protection over their families and give them peace in this time. We ask you to to bless the children right now, God. The kids are what brought us there, God, and you. And um, the little, little ones and the older ones too, God. Um, Be with them, bless them. May, just like these students have said tonight, God, may they they feel you during this hard time. And may, may they sense your love and protection during this time. May they remember the lessons and the prayers from their teachers, God. Be with them and bless SES, God. May it just keep being a blessing and keep shining your life light to all these students. In your blessing name we pray. Father God, I wanna thank you so much that even though my computer is from 1812 and I don't have a camera on it, and that's me, the Mac Pro, Mac Pro, Lori Major. So anyway, Father God, I wanna thank you so much that um, You are an amazing and awesome God that orchestrated everyone to be where they should be. Lord, I thank you for how profoundly you have touched all of our lives through this little school in this little island in the middle of, you know, the ocean. And Father, I just want to thank you so much. I know it's not in the middle of the ocean. Everyone calm down. (laughs) That you... That you have been with us all, even through all these years. And I love the last prayer for the children. And the children that I taught are now grown people with small children of their own. Lord, I thank you for the beautiful chance to be able to see our kids grow up to be awesome men and women of the Lord who love their children um, in an amazing way. I thank you for the testimony. I thank you for just this beautiful time, Lord. And even in the midst of global craziness, I thank you for this beautiful, rich time. And such a reminder, since I was there like a hundred years ago, of just really all that you have done to make me the teacher that I am today, 24 years later. Thank you so much, God. You are an amazing God. I'm just thankful to be a part of this wonderful community of believers. I want to bless you tonight. Um, that your hope might be as bright 
as the colors on the buildings of SES and that your love might be as warm as the sunshine on the hottest days of school with no air conditioning. <laughs> and um, that the, as loved as you've ever felt, um, even on this call, remembering God's faithfulness, may you know that God is as faithful as he's ever been. God is as hopeful as he's ever been. God loves you right now as much as he ever has. Um, may you carry that with you wherever you go. Amen. Amen. Amen.